Have you ever been using a Linux distro and you thought to yourself, oh man, this distro is kind of lame. You know what it really needs more of? It needs more dragons and neon. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. Dragons and neon and lots of it. Well, if that's you, then today I got a real treat for you because I installed Garuda Linux, the dragonized edition on real hardware. And I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. So here's my bare metal distro review on Garuda Dragonized Edition. Now here we are at the Garuda Linux desktop. And yeah, all of the backgrounds, all of the default backgrounds, pretty much include dragons. Most of them anyway. So, get into the history of this distro, because there's not a whole lot of history with this one. It's a pretty recent distro. It was only started in 2020 by two developers. And the point of it was to be a gaming-focused, arch-based distro. So, since it's a fairly young distro, I'm going to just get right into how I rate it. In terms of aesthetics, it's... Oh, my eyes! Yeah, literally, that's about how I rate it. It's basically like a 1 out of 10. I find it pretty ugly. Especially at first, it did grow on me a little bit at, with time, but it's very... The word I'm looking for is garish. In terms of usability, it's just weird. Because this is a KDE desktop, believe it or not. This is KDE, and it's super weird. Here, I'm gonna show you guys something here. So for example, if we open up an application, we're gonna go with the web browser, Fire Dragon. Yes, yes, they picked Fire Dragon for the uh, web browser. Totally because it's Firefox based and all of its great features, and totally not because it's called Fire Dragon. This browser is a little interesting in and of itself, I'll admit. It's a Japanese based, the Japanese edition of Firefox. So, when you open up an application, okay, what it does is it goes up to the menu up here almost like a Mac, and then all of the menu button, or all of the buttons are on this side, on the left hand side, instead of the right hand side. And the thing that annoyed me the most was every time I would go to grab the window, Look, you, you try to grab the window up here like you normally would, but really you're just grabbing the taskbar. And this is especially annoying when trying to use it on applications on a second monitor, at least for me personally. So for usability, let's say uh, about a 2 out of 10, it, not as bad once you get used to it, but it does take a lot of getting used to. In terms of stability, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I actually have not had any major stability issues with it at all, and the only reason I dock a point is for stability is because it is a rolling release like Arch. For my last category of how do, well does it uh, how well does it attain its stated purpose? How good it does it, is this at being a game? Well I will say that's actually kind of where this distro shines, because once you get past the kind of garish aesthetics and weirdness of the interface, it's actually quite good. Like, for example, one of the things that they do that is really good, that I think a lot of gamers will appreciate, is how it comes with the uh, NVIDIA binary blocks out of the box, which make it which make it very easy to get NVIDIA set up. Like, I had no problem getting my NVIDIA driver set up. Yes, yes, I know, I use NVIDIA now. Now, here are some other cool features I want to get into, because there's a lot of interesting decisions that the developers have made with this particular distro. I'm gonna show you a couple here. First, when you open up the terminal, and this is a decision I actually like, it runs a NeoFetch-like application by default, and instead of putting you into a bash shell like you normally would be into, this is a fish shell, which fish, this is my first time using fish, and I found this to be really quite cool. Um, I'm going to use another little quirk about this distro to show you kind of how Fitch works. So, you have Garuda, am I spelling that right? No, I am not. So you got Garuda-install. And you can see here how Fitch will auto will they, uh, give you like auto suggestions for how to finish the command. It gives you text highlighting. All in all, it's really cool. Another thing is, is that Garuda install is kind of interesting because it acts like a wrapper for Pac-Man. 
so I'll show you it running here. Minor blooper. So yeah, now that that's a uh, running, and yes, it does do yay as well. So you can use regular a uh, AUR packages, and they also maintain a chaotic AUR with a bunch of pre-built binaries in well, too. So there is some very good work that they do there. Another interesting thing about this distro that I really can't show you do now is that it doesn't use. I can kind of show you so. I'm going to open up a uh, hard it here. So, this is how it, uses, it sets up a basic, a, um, this is how the basic install sets up a installation, like when you run through the installer. And a really interesting thing is that it uses better, it uses better FS. Which means that yes, you actually can, when you're booting it up, I'm not going to show you guys that right now because I'm actually using the system, but when you boot it up, it actually gives you a list of snapshots from the past that you can boot into that act almost like backups, which is pretty cool. The another aspect that I want to mention here is, of course, the gaming aspect. This is supposed to be a gamerish, a gamer distro, so how is it for gaming? Well, it comes with a lot of games pre-installed, a lot of like arcade type games, a lot of that kind of thing. It comes with a lot of them, but one of the nicer things is that it comes with I haven't gotten too, too into this myself, although I have played War Thunder and I have played Tannenberg on it. It really comes really well set up out of the box for things like a uh, Lutris and RetroArch. Because it actually comes with Wine pre-configured, which is actually very, very nice. Like I said, I haven't used it a ton myself, but another thing is too is that it comes with, con it comes with Core Control, which is really cool. It comes with a uh, keyboard visualizer. I haven't gotten it to work with my keyboard, but I did have it working with my mouse. Didn't use it a ton, but I'm sure some people would find it cool. A uh, open RGB, another thing for controlling RGB lighting. And as I said, wine pre-configured out of the box, which is very nice. I should mention that a great thing about this distro, if I haven't mentioned it yet, is that it comes with the NVIDIA drivers pre-configured out of the box too. So you can actually choose to install a kernel that comes with the NVIDIA binary blobs. And it makes getting everything set up on NVIDIA very, at least it was very easy for me, but I use an older NVIDIA card right now. So if you're running something newer, you might not have the same experience. It's NVIDIA, so it's kind of a crapshoot. Uh, another thing that I want to show you guys that really kind of is actually cool and unique to this distro is the Garuda welcome screen screen which comes up with all sorts of stuff like your Garuda assistant I use this a lot this is really handy for a uh, getting things set up and stuff gives you all kinds of configuration options Garuda gamer gives you options to install all kinds of emulators and stuff like that some more stuff here like Lutris hero games launcher and you can like tick and untick this all to decide if you want to install it Settings Manager, again, is pretty handy. Especially, th this kind of stuff is especially handy if you're newer. Here we have a Network Assistant, which again, it's, I don't have Bluetooth in this machine, so it doesn't really tell you a whole lot, to be honest. Not at least, not a lot that the uh, your typical a uh, Wi-Fi GUI won't tell you. And the big one I want to get into is right here, is when you hit the Setup Assistant. This makes it pretty quick to get a lot of things set up out of the box when you're first installing it and really kind of holds your hand through it. So I'm going to ask you for your pseudo password. The install on this one, by the way, is install of Garuda Linux is incredibly easy. One of the easiest installers I've ever been through. I could do it with my eyes closed, probably. It's a very, very new, it's a very, very new user-friendly distro. And we're back. So one of the cool things about the... Uh, Garuda setup utility is that every time you run it, it will run a system update, which is really, really handy, especially at first. So here, it gives you all sorts of options to pick from when you're installing software on your computer. So like, for example, you can go browsers. There's a ton of them you can pick. Brave, Firefox, Firefox ESR, Chromium on Google Chromium. You got a ton of office options here. A ton of different kernels that you can pick. A uh, from OS preferences like pen testing software and 
additional wallpapers. It gives you a lot of options from uh, audio software. That's the best way to put that, considering it's a mix of music players and audio production stuff. As you can see, it gives you a ton of options that are one click away, just straight out of the box, making this a very easy to install and set up distro. So, on the whole, I actually do think that this is a pretty good distro for for uh, new users, especially if you're running more recent hardware and you actually need something that's up to date. Because it's Arch based, you're always going to be pretty up to date with this distro. So on the whole, I actually do like it, despite the uh, weird quirks and the kind of garish theming. But you can fix that, so that's not actually that big a deal. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and pray every day.